the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, I pray for all the viewers of Catholic Marriage Forum episodes. I pray that you may bless and keep them and grant them their heart desires. We made this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi, dear friends. I welcome you to another episode of Catholic Marriage Forum. I welcome all those joining us for the first time. I say thank you. And for all those who have been supporting us, watching our program, I say God bless you. Today, the theme of our marriage talk is doing whatever Jesus tells you. There was a wedding at Cana. Jesus and his mother were invited. When the wine got finished, Mary, the mother of Jesus, walked up to Jesus and said to him, Son, they have no wine. And Jesus responded, How does your concern affect me? My hour has not come. Mary went to the apostles and said to them, Do whatever he tells you. And eventually, Jesus turned water into wine. Wow! This biblical passage has an important message for every marriage. The first message is invitation of Jesus and Mary into your marriage. We invite Jesus into, you can invite Jesus into your marriage through prayer. When you pray for your marriage, God is ever ready to fight the unseen battle for you. In your marriage, there may be unseen battle, which you don't know about, but through prayers, God will fight that battle for you. So there are things that happen in your marriage that you don't really solve by words and, you know, do you want to know the other, but through prayer. If you are a prayerful person, you will see God doing wonders in your marriage. So it is important to pray for your marriage, to pray for your family. When you do that, you invite Jesus into that marriage. As Catholics, we also believe in the powerful intercession of Mary, the mother of Jesus. When you pray the rosary for your marriage, for your family, when you pray the rosary together as family, Mary is ever ready to intercede for your marriage, to play the same role she played at the wedding at Cana. Through her maternal intercession, Jesus performed his first miracle. So, having devotion to Mary, the mother of Jesus, is also important in your marriage as Catholics. The second message in this biblical episode is doing whatever Jesus tells you. Mary said to the apostles, do whatever he tells you. As a family, as married people, when you do what Jesus tells you, Jesus will turn your wine, your water into wine, the water of difficulties, the water of childlessness, and many others, Jesus will turn them into wine. The problem today is that many married people have failed to listen to Jesus rather they are listening to the world. Jesus tells you to be faithful to your spouse. The world says the opposite. And when you do that, problem set in your marriage. Jesus wants you to love your spouse, but the world says, okay, you can love your spouse and love another person out there who will be the second wife or second husband. You can be managing the two. And when you do that, problem set in in your marriage. Jesus wants you to forgive, but you say, you know what? I'm not going to forgive that my husband. I'm not going to forgive that my wife. And you live in anger. You live in unforgiveness, which will eventually destroy you and your marriage. When you do what Jesus tells you, that water in your marriage will be turned into wine. And your marriage will become better. Why don't you make up your mind today as a family, as spouses, to do what Jesus tells you and not what the world is saying? May God bless you now and always. Amen.